leaders and our parents can we clap for them all the students <laughs> yes all the teacher leader and parents are proud to you that your students are winning such a award and trust me it is because of you that you provided the excellent environment of learning and that makes the student possible to achieve these feats i think that there are a lot of logo written here ready for the word what does it mean for all the e learner over here okay ready what the word means word is changing very fast if you close your eyes and see after 5 year what are the skill set be required and whether the cambridge qualification has equipped you for those qualifications or those is skill set i am not talking about the subject specific alone i am talking about the bulk of the human values attributes and virtues which makes you ready for the future and that's what we as a cambridge delivers to you besides your thorough subject knowledge i am sure every teachers and student knows what all the cambridge attributes are you are confident and that is the virtue that you require in next five year when you are entering into a workforce you are strong in collaborative and that is the virtue that is required in next five years you are curious learner continuous learner because the world is changing very fast we have always been trained though uh, the change is the only constant but nobody has told us the change the rapid change the space the speed of change is very fast what was relevant yesterday will not be relevant today do we teach our kids hunting nowadays no i think that we have learned driving but imagine 20 year do we need driving as a skill set probably those skill set has gone similarly in your work space we are using lot of word excel powerpoint do you think that after 20 year those things will be relevant probably no so what is the one virtue which is required which is relevant to you since the change is happening every day the curiosity of learning you become a lifelong learner is the one virtue which cambridge has taught you is going to be relevant in the future so please remain a lifelong learner that's my one number one advice is we all know who all are using chat gpt i'm talking about the student not a teacher and leader who uses chat gpt quite few see chat gpt is a very very nascent stage at this moment and in the era of reach and everything ai do you know that how strong and powerful machine would be in 5 year or 10 year down the line they will be powerful so what are the second virtue which is going to differentiate between you and those powerful machine and give you an ability to rule those machine for the better world is a number one human quality empathy that ai will never able to learn the empathy thing don't forget that empathy and collaborative is the second virtue i will ask that remain with you and that works when you do a lot of program in the financial shit that's the attributes that we are able to develop you second thing is see what is not a sprint race your life is not a sprint race is a marathon you will run you will fall you will get up again sometimes you will get success sometimes you will get failure resilience is the third attribute i would like you to stick on winner is not who will every race winner is the one who falls get up run again and win the race so these are my three advices for you keep it and word is yours all the best guys